Good morning, Year 2. It's lovely to see you this morning. This week, we're going to be learning all about explanation text. We're going to focus on rainbows at the start of this week. Rainbows have been everywhere during lockdown. They're the symbol of hope. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we knew how rainbows were made? Well, this week, you're going to find out. Let's have a look at today's learning. Session 1. How do brilliant writers use conjunctions when, if, that, and because? We're going to start with a warm up of those red words. I bet you're getting really, really good at reading those now. Then we're going to have a discussion about rainbows and practice using conjunctions verbally. I'm going to read you a text all about rainbows, and we're going to end today by completing some sentences about rainbows using our conjunctions of today. When, if, that and because. Let's find out if you're ready. Have you got a pencil? Some paper? Well done. And most importantly of all, your brain. Fantastic everyone. Let's begin. So we're going to begin by reading our red words. We're going to do my turn, your turn. Improve move, prove, after, people, I, because, who, gold, hold, beautiful, everybody, well done. Now it's your turn on your own to read them. Let's begin. Fantastic work. Shall we go faster? Yes, let's try. Are you ready? I might say them with you this time. Improve, move, prove, after, people, I, because, who, gold, hold, beautiful, everybody. Whew, I'm worn out already and we haven't even started our lesson. Maybe we better crack on. Let's see then. So, remind ourselves of what our question is for today. How do brilliant writers use the conjunctions when, if, that, and because? Now, all of these conjunctions together are called subordinate conjunctions. Now, they work in the same way as other conjunctions, linking two parts of a sentence together. The only difference is, quite often, those two parts of the sentence are dependent on each other. So, that means the conjunction, if it wasn't there, the two parts of the sentence wouldn't make as much sense. Now, can you spot the conjunction that I've used in my sentence at the bottom of the screen? Rainbows appear when there is sunshine and rain at the same time. Yes, I use the conjunction when. We are going to try and use the conjunctions when, if, that and because in our speech now. If you can see it on my screen, there is a lovely picture of a rainbow. And I would like you either to tell me on pause or somebody at home as much as you know about rainbows. But your challenge is, when you're talking about rainbows, to, is to use the conjunctions in your sentences. So remember that's when, if, that and because. If you're doing it with someone at home, you could even play a bit of a game scoring a point for every conjunction that you use. Now, on the screen, you will see on the left hand side that there are some ideas of what you may like to talk about, because sometimes it's a bit tricky just to think of things. You may like to talk about the colours that you can see in the rainbow, the shape of the rainbow, what the weather is like when you see a rainbow, and how a rainbow is formed. Now, we don't expect you to know that, so have a guess if you don't know. Put me on pause now and see if you can use those conjunctions in your sentences verbally. 
how did you do? Did you score many points? I hope so. It's time now to read an example of an information text all about rainbows. And as you're reading it or listening to me read, I would like you to spot some conjunctions. Can you remember what they are? Tell me. Super, when, if, that, and because. If you want to listen to me read it, that's fine. You could clap your hands or wave at me as you hear a conjunction. You may like to put me on mute and read it yourself. Either is absolutely fine. Let's begin our explanation text. Rainbows. A rainbow is an arc of colour in the sky that can be seen when the sun comes out during or after a rainstorm. Got another little um, heading here. How a rainbow is formed. A rainbow is formed when a person sees the sun or a light source shining through raindrops. Well done if you waved there. That was last week's conjunction, wasn't it? Or. This type of rainbow is formed when light strikes raindrops at 42 degree angle in front of the people looking at it. We've got a little diagram there just to show us that angle. When the light strikes the drops, it changes and splits into colours called a spectrum. These colours are bounced back to us so that we see a rainbow. Did you spot some more? Well done. Sometimes they can come at the start of the sun. The colours of a rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green blue and purple. Super commas in the list, wasn't it? Where are rainbows? The rainbow is an optical illusion, which means that it tricks your eyes so that what you think you see is different from what is really there. Rainbows are not in a fixed spot in the sky, as the appearance of a rainbow depends on where the person is where the person seeing it is and where the light is. Rainbows are actually full circles, but viewers on the ground can only see them above the horizon. God, you knew that's an amazing fact, isn't it? So they're not that arc shape. Did you find some more of our conjunctions? Well done if you did. Fascinating fact. A moonbow, also called a lunar rainbow, is a rainbow that is produced by light from the moon. Oh, I'd love to see one of those. Now you may have spotted that some of the words that I've been reading have been in bold. They look a bit fatter and darker than the other words. This is because they are in our glossary. Um, they're words that are a little bit more technical that need explaining to us. So let's have a look at our glossary. The word arc. That means a part of a line that forms the outside of a circle. Light source, the place or thing which you get light from. Horizon, the line in the far distance where the sky seems to meet the land or the sea. Spectrum, the range of colours that you get when light passes through a glass prism or through a drop of water. We had some more conjunctions in that one as well. Well done if you spotted those. So today we have got three chilli challenges using our conjunctions when, if, that and because. For our one chilli challenge today, you can read the sentence, which is on the next slide, and fill in the missing conjunctions. If you fancy doing the two chilli challenge today, I would like you to read and copy the start of the sentence. I would like you to extend it using when, if, that, or because. And for our free chili challenge today, I would like you to write your own sentences using all of the subordinate conjunctions learnt today. Remember, you don't have to do all the challenges. Do the ones that are most suitable for you. Let's have a look at them now. So put me on pause if you would like to do the one chili challenge. You can see where the lines are, you will need to insert the correct conjunction. 
rainbows are arcs can be seen in the sky. So I would try out each word to see if it makes sense. Rainbows are arcs when can be seen in the sky? No, that's not right. Rainbows are arcs if can be seen in the sky? No, Mrs. Crab, that's not right. Rainbows are arcs that can be seen in the sky. Yes, we found it. So that one would be that. Make sure you try all of the conjunctions to see if they make sense. Put me on pause now if you wish to do this task. If you're up for our two chilli... Oh, sorry, I was about to move on then, wasn't I? This is the answers for your one chilli challenge. So rainbows are arcs that can be seen in the sky. If you wrote that, give yourselves a big tick. If you were in the sky, you would see rainbows are actually circles, not arcs. If you wrote the conjunction if, give yourselves a big tick. We see a rainbow because light splits into colours through a raindrop. Yes, the conjunction was because. Give yourselves a big tick. And last but not least, it is formed when someone sees the sun shining through raindrops. The conjunction was then. Well done if you got all of those right. Now it's time to move on to the next chilli challenge. I have put the sentence starters on the board. A rainbow is an arc of colour. A rainbow is formed. You may see a rainbow and people think rainbows are pretty. I would like you to pick one conjunction to extend this each sentence. For example, example, a rainbow is an arc of colour that is found in the sun. Or a rainbow is formed when there is mist or rain and sunshine. So pop me on pause now and write these sentences in your book. Good luck everybody. Finally, our free chilli challenge. I would like you to come up with your own four sentences and can you use these conjunctions in them? When, if, that, because. I know you're going to be absolutely brilliant at this challenge and your teachers will really look forward to seeing what you've written. Please share this on Tapestry. How did you get on everybody? If you've been writing sentences today, it's really important that you check your work. So you'll need to look with your eyes, rereading those sentences. Have you used a capital letter? If you haven't, change it now. We don't mind a little crossing out. Have you used your finger spaces? Well done if you have. Have you included the conjunctions for today? If you've missed any conjunctions out, you can always put an arrow in and go back. And last of all, have you used your full stop? Super. Great checking, everybody. Tomorrow, we're going to be practicing writing some sentences using our conjunctions when, if, that, because. I can't wait to see you again. Up next, for reading, we would like you to do one of our challenges. So either practicing your year two common exception words, reading a book from the Oxford Owl. Remember, you've got your login now. So there are loads and loads of books that you can read. And you may like to go onto YouTube, Google Ruth Miskin, and you will see the set two and set three phonics lesson. They will really help you keep up your word reading. There are also other lessons to be found on there, such as hold a sentence and other red words. Have fun everybody and I'll see you again tomorrow.